So as I predicted, a week after my video about the Steam game being malware, there's another Steam game that is being promoted that turns out to be, guess what, another info stealer. So this one's been taken down just recently, but uh, it was active for a while. I saw it on our Discord. The way they promote these things is they're going to go and message you and say, hey, check out this game. You go to Steam and you see it's the official website. You see it on the Steam store. You're like, okay, let me try it out. You see the demos, you download the game, but of course inside the game is a malware component. And in this case, it is this Windows Defender smart screen .exe, funnily enough. So pretending to be the antivirus, of course, good old strategy, 189 megabytes, and that's why a lot of antivirus products are not going to detect it. And if we take a look at the file on uh, Virus Total, the original installer, very low detections, three detections out of 69. Interestingly, Avast got this one, but yeah, this is why behavioral protection is so important because as you can see, day zero malware, nobody really detects it, especially when the file sizes are so big. And this is a very common tactic. They just ramp up the file size, make it a very complex program, 80 megabytes, and most of it might even be empty, but it doesn't matter. A lot of scanners are going to look at it, say it's not worth the effort to scan this file because it's so big. It's going to take so much time. They skip it and therefore it executes. And uh, then comes the malware. There's a discussion of this on uh, Reddit as well. There's a nice analysis of this done by members of our Discord community. Shout out to Raver and Jaffa Cakes. The exact attack path involves using WScript. That's a typical malware favorite using Windows scripting tools. It then creates a shortcut which points to the actual malware payload. Now, next, it uh, kills Chrome and Edge, terminates your browsers, and then relaunches them silently in the background. You're not going to see it because there's no GUI when it's relaunched, and then it just dumps all of the information it can. So it's going to collect all your cookies from your browsers, which is going to include authentication tokens for all the sites that you're currently signed into, any passwords that you have saved. All of that is going to get dumped along with with the system information so they know who you are and they know your access tokens for each of the websites that you're logged into. So again, if you've been hacked by this malware, if you've accidentally executed this file, run this game, well, watch the video I made earlier about what to do if you're hacked because you need to go step-by-step, -step, reset a lot of passwords, protect your financial information, make sure you're not compromising your data doesn't end up on the dark web. Now, this is the attacker infrastructure. Now, if we look up this company. It's a new infrastructure hosting provider, maybe because AWS have gotten better at noticing abuse of their infrastructure. So a lot of these low tier cyber criminals are going to use new websites, new web hosting providers to set up their infrastructure. So there's more of a delay between them being able to catch it, especially because if you're a new company, you don't have that many people to look into these things. So kind of goes both ways because larger company also means you're hosting so many things that your resources are stretched thin. But in any case, I don't think this is going to be the last time that we find a Steam game that has malware. And if we look at Valve's track record in terms of shutting down, let's say, CS2 cheaters, if we can expect the same kind of effectiveness when it comes to taking down games that have malware in them, we're going to see a lot more games with malware in them on Steam. Now, it is worth noting that the main way this malware is spread is not by you finding this game at random and downloading it. It is by a customized message asking you to download this game or try it out. So if you get any such email or message, even from a friend, because guess what? Your friends might be hacked. A lot of Steam accounts get hacked and the people using them don't know for months. So even if a friend you know in real life messages you on Steam and says, hey, try out this new game we're playing it right now, do not download that game. If you've never heard of it, don't download. It is getting harder and harder in some sense, giving advice, because what are you supposed to do? Not download new games that your friends suggest? That doesn't make any sense because that's how you're supposed to use Steam and enjoy it. But at the same time, that's what's being used by attackers to get you to download an info stealer. I guess just be extra cautious. Take a few more steps to verify that the game is well known, that it's been around for a while. One of the things I did notice is there are no reviews, although that could easily change in the future, especially with the AI bots. It's not that hard for them
them to just cram a bunch of fake reviews. So the amount of due diligence you have to do these days to make sure you're not downloading malware, damn, it is getting harder. And part of the issue as well is there's no remediation once something like this happens. So once the info stealer takes your data, puts it on dark web, it's very hard to reverse that process. It's not as simple as removing the malware because they already have your credentials. And also it's not even as simple as one attacker because a lot of this information is going to end up on the dark web where it's going to be shared and exchanged in return for money between different cyber criminals. And if we do a simple search in Flare, we can see that uh, there's a lot of infected devices with Steeler logs referencing the Steam website. A lot of people do get hacked via Steam through Steam. There's the whole in-game currency, gambling, skin economy, whatever you like to call it in various games. And that incentivizes a lot of cyber criminals, a lot of misguided younger people to get into the business of like hacking Steam accounts. So be extra cautious if you're a regular Steam user, especially if you've got valuable in-game currency because attackers are going to target you specifically. As you can see, our page is just flooded with Steeler logs. And statistically, we've got 247,000 instance in the last month itself. And your friend could easily be one of these. And once your data is out here, your account can basically be hacked anytime. So it's important to change your password as quickly as you can because often, like I said, the attackers that hack you are not necessarily directly going to go for extracting all the information, all the websites. They might sell it on the dark web. So it does give you a short window of time before they take advantage of your information where you might be able to change your password. So again, I've made a full video on it with the Jurassic Park themes. So super fun. Do check it out. Now, if you want to do a search and see if your Steam account might be hacked or similarly, if any of your data is on the dark web, you can do that via Flare. It's very easy to do a search. You can select what categories you want to look into, illicit networks, the open web, dark web, pastebin, things like that. And of course, the illegal markets, forum posts, ransom leaks, infected devices that have been mentioned in any kind of attack log. Because what happens when you run an info stealer basically is it creates a log of your system and then that file gets transmitted to the attacker or it simply gets created on the attacker's end. So they collect all the information, the data comes in, a log is generated. And then that log is typically what is going to be uploaded to the dark web or sold. So big thank you to Flare for sponsoring this video and allowing us access to their platform so we can look Look at these interesting statistics. If you would like to protect your organization or explore the dark web safely, Flare is a great way to do it. Do check them out using the link in the description. They've been a long time sponsor and the site is genuinely quite cool and it even allows you to monitor incidents for your organization. So you can put in your data and the moment anything shows up on the dark web before your whole organization gets hacked that, hey, Bob from this department has just got his device compromised. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and share it with your friends. Help spread this information. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.